Okay, guys, we are pr approaching end game. We've got this world, and then one more after that. If you play this game before, you know. If not, spoil alert. Sorry. There is one special world after this that we have to go to. And that will be it for Super Mario Odyssey. We've got some gameplay videos coming up of Harry Potter Legacy. Not my first time playing that, but I am playing through this time as a Slytherin. We'll be doing the commentary on that. We were uploading non-commentary tracks, but that's boring. So, that's going to be coming in the, uh, right after this one. So we got this one going up, and then the next video, and that will be the end of Super Mario Odyssey. We've got Breath of the Wild 2 coming out soon. Hopefully we'll be doing videos for that, and hopefully that Star Wars game, Je Jedi, whatever it's called. All right, we're going to infiltrate Bowser's Castle. All right. You would think this would be the last level, but it's not. Spoiler alert on a very old game. Sorry, guys, if this is your first time seeing this, but come on. There is more to do. Not much more, but some. All right, let's get to work. Throw that hat. Show me no business. All right, we got a bunch of these uh, Goombas in here with hats on. Let's hat hijack one. Stack it up. You know why we have to stack up, right? There's got to be a thing that we have to stand on to get it a moon. Let me wreck up the moon. Notice on this level, there's no moon counter. I don't need a specific number of moons. It says, but I do believe. You have, I mean, I, I'm sure if I made it all the way to the end, it wouldn't be that big a deal, but I think, I think you need a hundred moons to fly to the next level, and we're, we're close, but this will, uh, once I'm done with this, it'll bring us way above what we need. Hey, don't do that. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with putting out this lantern, but I, I gave up after I roasted my, uh, ham. All right, here we go. Hit the flag, get your life bar back. See that? We need to hat hijack that guy. He's got some special powers we need to take advantage of. Needle nose, there we go. And look at this. You stick it in a wall, and you can fling yourself upwards. It's like having one of those fork guys in the lunching kingdom, but you don't have to, um, well, almost the same thing. This one has a, uh, Attack, where the fork guys are just stuck in a wall and you can't do anything with that. This actually has an attack mode, because you can free roam with it. What's over here? That's right, another moon. Gotta explore, guys, you gotta explore. This isn't even all the moons, we're three in the middle of the This is the moon we're gonna come across on the way to smack Bowser upside his head. Spiky guys, you can't hijack spiky guys because they don't have a place to put a hat, I guess. See that? We need to collect all those. Those guys are in our way. That doesn't matter, we're just gonna run, 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 run. Alright, get that moon. Ah, crap, it's behind us. That's alright, though. We can do it behind it. Get out of my way! My moon! Hiya! Oh crap, that was a dumb move. If I hadn't bounced off of it, it would have been okay, but since I couldn't recover bad enough. See this guy? He's gonna throw down right there, and you're just gonna ground pound, or butt bump that little thing on top of his head. Nothing like butt bump on somebody's head, huh? Alright, flip, jump, no, do it on the, there you go. Hoo-ya! That's it. All done. Another moon! I wish this thing had a count- oh, no, it doesn't have a count. Nah, it doesn't have a countdown to let me know how many more I need, but it does have a count. Alright, another door. 
This has got a lot of walls to go through. Smart bombing. Okay, so you gotta hijack one of those uh, pokey guys. They got the needle nose, and you gotta uh, you gotta hit those rolling bombs into things. Perfect. All right, up we go. How does Bowser get around in this place? I mean, there's no, uh, he doesn't have a, well, he, I mean, he has a hijack tag that he took, but maybe he just has a big thing that, well, maybe his, uh, he has that floaty thing, doesn't he? It's a round floaty thing that he can take him places, maybe that's what he does. Gotta line it up. Line it up. Ooh, we don't need that. We don't need that. We do need that, though. See that? That's what we need. Uh, no! We fell through our doom. Horrible job, dude. Horrible job. Alright, let's try this again. Try and get it right this time, dude. That hijack. That guy stabbed me. Dude! Are you trying to kill yourself? Don't ask me why I'm doing this, because I know that move needs to do. Oh, that's why, because I want that extra heart. Not that you gotta put out the fire with your nose. Here's some spikies. These guys are actually vulnerable to the needle nose attack. They're not vulnerable to anything else in this game, but they are vulnerable to the needle nose attack. Actually, they are they are kind of vulnerable to that uh, cloud attack in uh, one with that. But the Snow Kingdom. Remember the Snow Kingdom? You had to hijack the big cloud guy and you could blow them away. Now I could get those if I came out of the needle nose guy and threw the hat, but I'm not gonna do that because I really don't need those things right now. Now later in the game, or if you wanted to come back. After you've done everything and you want to collect all the moons for completionist purposes, then yes, you need those little purple guys, because for completion purposes, you need to actually buy a moon with some pieces. But we're not doing that right now. We're just doing the ease of use moons. Oh so yeah, we need two more. Oh yeah. See that sparkly one? That's got a thing in it. Alright. One more! I have a feeling it's over there. See it? Right down there. Pop these coins, jump up, fling! Alright, now, all our moon pieces are put together, our moon fragments, if you will. Let's go get that moon! What's that on the counter? Five? hard to see on the small screen when you're doing the commentary, but I do believe that's five or six. <laughs> another door! Here's another brutal battle. Bru ah, brutal. That's funny. Alright. In the brutal battle, you're gonna have to take out the last two of the brutals that you are fighting again for the second time, which is gonna be the girl with the the girl brutal with the um, the hair attack with the bombs or whatever you want to call it. You've got the the pigtails that swing bombs at you. You can get in that building, but you need a different outfit. And then you have to fight the guy with the top hats, which is the guy you fight first. But you don't, uh, you fight him last year. I guess I need just go through everybody backwards so you can go. And here, we're just gonna buy a moon just for the sake of buying a moon with 100 coin. Now, the guy next door, you can buy a, uh, with the, the money from this kingdom, you can buy a moon, but we don't have enough to do that. And frankly, I don't normally buy the moons, but I was here, and I want this extra life heart, whatever you want to call it. it. Gives you those extra three. I like to have that when we're heading into final battle here, just in case I boo boo because I have been running quick through these and making mistakes. If I took my time a little better, 
probably wouldn't need it as, as bad as I do when I'm trying to do these quick ones for these uh, gameplay and commentary videos. Alright, is there anything over here we need? No. Okay. Do -do. Get the checkpoint flag. Get it! You just ran past it. Okay, well never mind. Starting the battle. This is... Whatever she's called. The bunny with the hair. They're all just called Brutals. They have individual names, because I'm sure, I'm sure Nintendo gave them individual names. There she goes! You don't actually have to do that, but I like to kind of keep them clear. And if you line it up right, you can actually just smack her in the head with it. Bam. Alright, jump on her head. You want to do that as fast as you can, because otherwise she starts running around. And it's not hard, but it's harder. Sometimes you can knock these up in the air if you light it up right. I did not this time. And send it, and she'll stop. So that's a handy thing to know. Horrible job. Horrible job. Didn't do it that time either. Alright, here she comes again with the... What you call that? Pigtail attack? In the back, in her face. She realizes what happened. Stomp on her head. Surprisingly, we haven't taken a hit there. See that? Just hit her with one before she starts flying around. And it stops her. There! We sent the first one right back to her. We didn't even have to wait for her to... See? See how she started running? You want to stop that just because it's annoying to line it up. It's not hard, but you definitely want to stop doing it. That breaks apart a golden statue. Let's get over here and do this other one. You still didn't do that uh, checkpoint flag, dude. Alright, here's the last guy. That boy, whatever you want to call him. Is he Irish? He's green. He's like a leprechaun. Leprechaun brutal. Alright. Here we go. Darts out small with the hats. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, jump on his head. Now. Huh, there's a lot more hats all of a sudden. Crap on a cracker. Knock him down as fast as he can. Even when he starts spinning, hit him. Jump on his head. You want, to, you want to try to clear out the hats for just to get them to stop. Oop, you clocked me that time. We're done. Wait at me again, dude. Bonk on the head. Alright. Our step dance buddy is done. That's not funny. Alright. Here's another moon for our troubles. We got six, and this will be seven. What's next? I'm trying to remember where we go after this. There's more to do. Just trying to remember what it is. Oh yeah, you gotta climb this thing. With, so you're gonna need to hide, hat, hat hijack one of those uh, needle book birds again. Needle those birds. This is the main courtyard, so just think about that. You've gone through so many things, and this is the main courtyard. Alright, see here? You can head hijack that guy. Down here, we need to go down here. Jump in, you'll lose the bird, but that's okay. You'll respawn and you can re hijack him. In the Koi Pond, here's a moon. What's up, Buddha's that mean? Get out of the Koi Pond before you lose your air. That's gonna be a horrible way to go. There he is. Don't get stabbed at hijacking. 
Doesn't help that he's behind the rock. Still got him. Alright. Now. You gotta make the jump. See that? I failed. You gotta go back and hijack him. You know why? You gotta climb this wall. You don't have a bird, you can't climb the wall. That hijack again. Alright. Make the jump. Alright. Don't touch the water, you lose your bird. Bling. Bling. Alright. Another one of these guys. Another one of these guys. Coins. We're gonna climb up the higher one. We're gonna throw a bomb at you. You could ricochet them down there, but we're not going to. Oop. That was a bad move. Alright. Refill your energy by getting that. Now, don't do what I do right here. See this guy? Instead of doing the butt bash, you can stab him. But, I realized two seconds late, there's a moon over here, and the only way to get that moon out of there, not a explosive device, is to have that guy smash it. So yes, you're gonna have to do a replay to get to that, but we're not doing, we're not doing that right now. All right, I gave up. Let's climb. Now, this one can be tricky, at least it was kind of tricky for me. Not, not tricky, super tricky, difficult, but sometimes you make mistakes and then you wind up falling and having to redo it or landing somewhere you couldn't have to. That was, that was close to the edge. That could have that cost me time. Wasn't too bad there. Alright, now, we're on the inner wall. You gotta go in between. You can't hit those metal plates. Those metal plates will not let you do the needle nose attack. And up. Do it before you get to the end, because you will fall. That's probably the first time I've climbed those two walls and not fallen down one. Another flag. Here we are beneath the keep. Alright, give up the bird. Electric attack! It's not an attack, it's just travel. Hey, look who's here! Alright, Goober Boy. Let's have it. I want that princess back. <gasps> gonna fight! Except, we're not gonna fight. You know what's gonna happen? <sighs> here comes the ship. Now, if he was smart right there, he would shoot me with a cannon. But he doesn't do that. Off to our wedding ceremony on the moon. On the moon. Wonder what it costs to rent the moon. Punch. All right. What do we have to do? We gotta fight brutals again. But it's not the same brutal fight. The brutals have come up with this thing. It's like a brutal Voltron. Not, well, it's not really brutal Voltron because you don't assemble all the uh, lions into the brutal Voltron, but you have all the brutals controlling the big robot. Yeah, come on, it's kind of Voltron. So what you gotta do is hat and hijack another one of those needle birds. There he is. And you gotta shoot these bombs back at his legs. Like that. It takes two hits to break a leg armor. Or one hit to take out a needle bird. Ow! Nope. You gotta line it up. Line it up. Bam. Okay. Climb the legs. And you have to do a needle attack on the dome. He's gonna get up, he's gonna re-armor his leg, and he's gonna come at you. Run for your life. Here's my question. He moves the same. 
If they're all controlling the robot, shouldn't he move somewhat differently? Bam, another leg down. Now we gotta climb. Put it in the bottom of the foot. Climb up here. Sorry, hat dude. You're next. Alright, that's two brutals down. Book it. We're out of here. Now, this is where he starts doing the charge. It's not a horrible charge, but it's a charge. He bonks into the wall as soon as he goes past you. And then they start shooting these little energy discs at you. Now you can get them out of the way with your needle, needle attack. Alright, here it comes. But you gotta kinda clear them out of the way because you need them to not be in your way when you start getting the bombs again. They're not here, they're just discs. Hey, he stopped on that one for me, thanks. Okay, bomb. Bomb. Crap. Discs again. Clear them out with the needle attack. Going to, that's not too bad. Alright, start dropping. There we go. Alright, climb. Whoopsie. This is a hard one. I don't remember if I made this one. Yep, I guess I did. Sorry, pigtail girl. You're going down. Alright, one brutal left. One Brutal can control the robot just as good as four Brutal, so, you know, whatever. Get these, uh, discs out of here. They're in my way. He's gonna start throwing bombs. We need to clear the discs first. One. One foot down. One, one armor attack down. Oop, stepped on me. That's okay, though. We've got plenty of life. Yeah, that went right past you, bro. Bad crap. More discs. They're more annoying than anything. He stepped on that one. That one bounced off his leg. Well, it bounced off his leg. It broke. Another attack. Yeah. Alright. Climb. Climb. Alright, get up there. Super nose attack. That is the end of the Brutal. Looks like I almost fell over the uh, arena there, didn't it? The Brutal ship blows up, sets off a fireworks display. That's the end of the Barrio... Uh, Barrio? <laughs> the Mario in Bowser's Kingdom, whatever you want to call it. There's the fireworks display. There's the multi moon. All right, guys, we know what we've got to do because we're collecting moons. We got to go to the moon. That's our next video. That'll be up uh, the day after this, obviously. And then uh, I guess it's time to start doing Hogwarts Legacy gameplay videos, guys. All right, like, comment, subscribe if you like doing gameplay videos with commentary. Let me know if you need to see any different games or you want to see. I should say more than anything. And uh, stay tuned. Share with your friends if you don't mind. I'm really trying to get that view goal, uh, view count up. It really helps us out. We're at the subscriber count. Thanks to every one of you. We appreciate it. Guys, see you soon.